Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today I'm going to give you a public service announcement. So for those of you that are students or industry practitioners, stop memorizing formulas and start learning theory. So I can't emphasize this enough, and this all kind of hit me in reality in grad school. So for those of you that don't know, I have a business undergrad in finance. I was accepted into a financial engineering degree, and it was way over my head. We had summer boot camp and we sat down and like we're just crunching through like C++, uh, different types of mathematics and derivative products. And like, I understand the finance, but the math, it was just too much because I just didn't have the background in it. And I hadn't learned all the information we were covering, which is the point of the boot camp. And so there was one girl in the class who seemed very bright, very willing to help me. And so I sat down with her and I've got like my notes out, right? And so I've got this out and I'm like looking at her like, all right, so I don't understand this math equation. Can you explain how you do it? And she goes, yeah, it's simple. And she writes down the equation and goes, there's the equation. And I look at her, I'm like, no, no, no. I don't get, how did you get to that equation? Like, what are these pieces? Like, I mean, I don't, I don't understand anything here. Like, explain this to me. And she's like, well, what's there to explain? This is the formula, you just memorize the formula. And this person graduated with great marks in the program and went on to work in financial engineering. And my mind is literally just blown. Like, you could just memorize garbage formulas. Not have a clue what the hell's going on behind the formula. And yet you're gonna be working at these great places because you memorized formulas. And I find this in industry as well, something very simple statistically. Like you'll be looking at something like residuals and you'll be discussing these residuals and you'll be like, guys, look, if you filter out the residuals, there's this clear linear pattern. And they look at you and they go, so it passed the QQ plot or it passed White's test, you know? So what's the big deal? It passes, we're good to go, just use the model. And you're sitting here looking at these people like, I, I don't understand. Like, there's clearly a problem. There's clearly something you're missing. And if one thing that you learn in a financial engineering program is, you start with the Black-Scholes model, and it's very, very simple as long as you have the written equation. However, as you start dissecting the mathematics behind the equation, it gets very complicated. It's not the simple formula they teach you in an MBA class. You have to tear this all apart, and then you think, oh, Black-Scholes isn't right. It's not the correct formula. There's all these improvements you can make to make it better. And so you spend a year and a half to two years looking at ways to model in, for example, volatility. Not taking the implied volatility, but trying to model in the volatility itself, and then building that into the model, adjusting all these crazy mathematical equations, ending up with this massive formula, like pages of formulas, and then trying to program them into a computer to do it quickly. And then you typically come full circle and you realize Black-Scholes is great because it's quick and easy to use. However, my point is, is that you're not going to be good at your job. You're not gonna be doing a very good job in general for any company or business, teaching the materials or anything, if you don't understand the theory. You can't just memorize Greek letters, and then assume you know something because you've memorized some formula. The people that are the brightest out there that really learn and understand what's going on behind different models and equations and finance and trading and marketing analytics and all these different areas are people that didn't memorize the equations. They learned how to get to the equation from the theory. So that's my number one advice to all of you out there, students, industry practitioners, everybody. Stop memorizing the equations and start learning the theory. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and as always, until next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, please like, share and subscribe.